Hello everyone, I'm Storm Tracker ET Meteorologist Austin Haskins. It's been a relatively mild to even warm start to the month of November. So let's take a look at some of the stats through yesterday, the 13th. We've had so far nine of the 13 days at or over 50 degrees in one day at or over 60 degrees. And of course, you can see on the uh, left here, the average is eight and two respectively. Our average high for the month is 42 degrees. The average low 24.7 for an average of 33.4. And we are well above that. Of course, these numbers are through the 13th, but 51.1 degrees so far, 35.5 for the average low. So our average temperature, 43 degrees. Now, the one reason our average low has been so high is because we've had a lot of cloud cover at night, which kind of acts as a little bit of a blanket, and it doesn't really keep temperatures from bottoming out. It keeps the heat from the sun during the day down at the surface and doesn't escape back into the atmosphere at night. But one interesting fact about that, so we averaged 24 days in the month of November overall with lows at or below 32 degrees. Through yesterday, we've had just three. That is it. And we had the coldest morning so far the fall season earlier this week when the low in Eau Claire got down to 22 degrees. And we don't really have much cold air in the forecast, at least for the short term anyways. We have some colder air that will try to spill in next week, which I'll talk about here in just a minute. Future cast for today, a mixture of clouds and sunshine, but more so leaning towards the mostly cloudy side of things. There may be some pockets where it's overcast for a time, but overall today, pretty quiet. The winds are going to be on the light side. For tonight, mostly cloudy to at times overcast conditions will persist. There could be some patchy fog that does develop overnight with a little bit of lower level moisture that's available, but those chances are on the lower side, but it's not completely zero. So do watch out for that if you have to travel overnight into tomorrow morning. A lot of sunshine for the second half of the day tomorrow after those clouds and possibly some fog in the morning. Tomorrow looks to be a pretty good day. And then tomorrow night, some mid to higher level clouds filter in, and then we'll see maybe some thicker clouds into Saturday. And a cold front will come through on Saturday afternoon, more so towards Saturday night. And it's going to come through in dry fashion, but we'll have gusty southerly to southwesterly winds out ahead of it. That'll be more westerly into Sunday. And there may be a shower or two that tries to develop. We'll have to kind of watch that. But a lot of the data is suggesting that this will come through in dry fashion. But nonetheless, I do have a 1 in 10 chance. So about a 10% chance for something developing Saturday afternoon into Saturday night. But as you notice... Precipitation chances ramp up into next week after Monday during the daytime hours. And there's been a lot of talk, of course, you probably have seen on social media about a big system that's going to be impacting us next week. Well, here's kind of where things stand this morning. And again, this will change over the next several days. So I caution you, you know, if you're working with old data, you're working with bad data. That's kind of the, the saying that we use. But this is a look at the European future cast at 3 p.m. Wednesday of next week. This is what we're going to look at here with some of the longer outlooks. And this is showing rain with snow out across the Dakotas. And right now, we're still at about six days out. So we're still developing the patterns. And there's going to be, of course, multiple outcomes. What we're watching is that there's going to be a big trough of low pressure that's going to develop in the jet stream and push towards our area. And low pressures tend to ride the jet stream. What is looking more likely right now is we're going to have rain Monday night into Tuesday as a low gets cut off from the jet stream and it'll sit and spin. But where that occurs, that is still up in the air. So we get into Wednesday. This is when the forecast really diverges because we have, you know, of course, this solution showing rain. This is the GFS, the American model, and it's showing snow and even some darker blues across western Wisconsin, which would indicate some uh, decent snow rates. But again, I want to caution you. We are still six days out, but there are signs next week that we are going to have a more active weather pattern. Now, whether or not we see rain and or snow, you know, after Tuesday night, that still remains to be seen. That's kind of, you know, where we're at right now. So kind of a breakdown again, more active weather Monday night overnight through Friday of next week. We'll have chances for precip right now. Again, rain likely overnight Monday to Tuesday. Snow could mix in as early as Wednesday, but the exact details on everything totals all that where it's going to rain and snow, the location, what have you, that is all still unknown. But somewhere in the upper Midwest next week, we'll have rain and possibly even some snow. But once we get into the weekend, and especially early next week, we should be able to kind of fine-tune those details a little bit more. So I would encourage you to stay with us on air, online, and social media pages for updates. And, of course, that free Storm Tracker 18 weather app, which is the QR code you see there. You can take the camera on your phone and scan that to prompt you to download that. It is free, too, in the app stores. So just keep that in mind. 
But before we get to all that, of course, we'll worry about that once we get closer in time. Enjoy the nice mild weather that we're going to have the next few days. Highs in the low 50s today with, again, mostly cloudy to at times partly cloudy skies. Low snipe back down into the 30s. And then we'll be in the lower 50s again tomorrow, maybe closer to 50 farther north and east. And then on Saturday, we're looking at highs in the mid 50s, maybe south and west if we have enough sunshine, maybe even sneaking into the upper 50s. So that'll feel pretty nice. And then 51 on Sunday. And again, it will be breezy over the weekend. I want to remind everybody about that. And then we're dry during the day Monday. Chance of showers overnight Monday, a high of 53. And then we'll slowly see temperatures drop as the weather pattern does turn more active towards the middle to end of next week.